check out the abundance these are the bananas I picked out um, a couple of weeks ago that I cut down from the banana circle over there and as you can see in only two weeks perfectly ripe so look at that homegrown bananas organic they say Melbourne is too cold continuously too cold you won't believe it guys especially you guys in America anything below 60 Fahrenheit is considered freezing cold by Aussies and look what I grew look at this it's just amazing I have some more bananas now to pick this is the second rack that's ready as you can see at the top there there's a couple of ripe bananas so they're next good morning guys or good evening wherever you are um, today's uh, Saturday I think it's around the 13th of June so mid-June already that is uh, coming up to the third week of winter here in Australia and uh, check out the the coffee plant how well it's doing uh, now that winter has begun it's still getting new shoots look at that it's beautiful today we don't have any Sun we were at the beach yesterday when it was really sunny you can check out my other channel real life adventure on uh, YouTube to see how beautiful it is here in winter in cold and uh, frosty Melbourne but we still get a chance to swim all year round and more importantly uh, have plants like this outdoors the tropical coffee tree look at this I've had it here for about five years in ground this morning I did some chores the main chore was um, cutting the lower leaves of the banana plants both um, potted and in ground so got that done too yeah it's pretty hard to film and uh, do the job so I'm just showing you the the um, the results now so we cut there we cut there we cut here cut there cut there cut there cut there and we went all around the the back and the front yard these are lady fingers with three mums up there We've got three mums and uh, three three daughters down below three pups and I did the same with these guys at the corner that's at the back of the property so I cut the see those um, side shoots there cut those just drop them there same here with the Ducasi or Ducase cut those branches there or leaves they're the pups and that's the mother all the way up there mother she's up there Ducas, my favorite my favorite tasting banana out of all of them and they're the lady fingers next to her maintenance guys maintenance same there as you can see these are my friend Ken's bananas I picked up a couple of years ago just one pup off of him and it's already um, fruited that was, it was a pretty small rack though so not much to write about and as you can see down there we just put all the uh, mulch and um, waste and cuttings so yeah I don't know what the variety is called but it looks promising the uh, oranges now the winter oranges are ready over over 100 of them fully ripe we haven't even finished last year's oranges and now the new oranges have already arrived pigeon pea is still holding up well looks like it can take our winter this is an experiment first time I've grown 
pigeon pea here at um, Fruitopia. It's only early winter, so we'll see how it does. So far, so good. It's only one plant I bought from Dailies, and uh, it's looking good. This is a, a nitrogen fixer. That's why I got this one back in uh, in autumn, uh, back in uh, summer. The leaves are starting to turn yellow here, <clears throat> like the Rolinia. There you are. So, pigeon pea. Doing well. Early mandarins coming along as well. Showed you these uh, about a week ago. They were still green, and now there's the first sign of um, color coming up on the uh, 30 year old mandarin tree early variety these are ready in uh, August September pepinos still coming strong still coming strong both ripe and uh, green so as you can see still a few here this one looks ready I can bring that one in and uh, that one there is ready too pepino these are like um, little melons with a slight hint of um, sweet not a bad little um, side hustle in the uh, temperate climate it's a subtropical um, fruit this one pepino and then there's, there's another pepino with the regular looking color the one that's usually in the photos with these stripes it's a more um, well-known color look how be beautiful it is I'm gonna bring this one in it's got a bit of green there so I could wait another couple of weeks but the problem with these guys is the snails and the bugs they love it they love to poke little holes and ruin it so I will we'll grab it maybe in a little bit I also thinned out the the pink guava, the Hawaiian, to get um, a larger fruit and hopefully tastier. I did that this morning as well. Took off about, looks like 30. Yeah, too many guys, there's way too many. See, look at this, clusters. So, too many, all over. Won't be able to eat them anyway, whether I pick them or not. So it's better to just be safe and uh, thin it out. The first of these will be ready in, in uh, well last year they were ready in July, but it looks like this year they're a month behind, so August, for the pink guava. Pomelo's getting color. The first sign of color on the pomelo, so mid-June for you guys out there thinking of growing pomelo in a temperate climate. There it is. So these guys are ready August, September as well, like the mandarin. And uh, they stay on the tree till even uh, October, some of them, but they usually fall off at the end of winter. As I was saying earlier, we haven't finished off last year's oranges. These are on another tree. Um, this is the uh, Valencia. The one that had like what seemed 300 or 400 oranges. Yeah, this is the Valencia, which we haven't even finished off yet from last year. These guys come uh, in spring and summer. And they're still hanging on all the way till the end of autumn into winter so these are next year's ones coming not next year but this coming spring we're not getting as many this year only maybe a quarter of what we got last year uh, i don't know if it's because we left them on left last year's ones on too long don't know or maybe it's taken a year off yeah this one had 
uh, around three, four hundred oranges on it last year. The Valencia. Good news with the papayas that I have uh, um, planted around the garden. No sign of winter damage yet, which is really cool. And um, they've grown nicely. Uh, not as much as I wanted, but well, you can't really complain in a temperate climate that these only got six months of growth time. I planted them in December, January. So that was what six months of growth. Pretty pretty stoked, regardless of their size. Look how healthy they look. And remember, guys, um, we've had about two weeks already of um, temperatures going down to one and two Celsius in June. That's uh, 32 to 35 Fahrenheit. Look at that. You can't even tell. Looks like the uh, cherry moya is it's stuck now at this size because of the cold weather. These guys won't resume growing until the, wa the weather warms up in September. So hopefully they take off in about um, two and a half months. There's, there's about 30 of these on the tree, but uh, very small. It's because I didn't hand pollinate them when it started flowering in January. Let it, I just let it do its own thing until they finally um, pollinated themselves in, in um, March. Pineapple guava season is finished. Finished um, this week, week two of June. These are little ones, I don't bother with them. I mean, they have uh, the juice in them, but uh, so little, so little. Mm-hmm. Not bad, but you get spoiled by the bigger ones. We started picking from these guys last week, the persimmons. We've had around um, 40 already. So I'm going to be picking these as fast as I can because some of them are very soft and just falling to the ground. I prefer my persimmons soft than hard. So after this video, I'm going to pick about 20. Down to our last lamb has avocados. That one there. And these guys here. What a wonderful tree, guys. What a wonderful tree. Lamb has for the win. Yeah. I got three in the house too. And uh, these guys will take over for next season, the new ones. We also have. Uh, around 20 of these worts avocados that are ready to ready to pick and uh, we'll be starting on these as soon as we're done with the lamb has uh, there's another one up there and uh, right beside the new ones for next year look at that The new ones for next year. Uh, yeah, they're everywhere for uh, 2021. We still have apples, guys. Still got apples thanks to this net. Remember the net I put on in February? The one that nearly broke my back? Well, this is why I did it. I did it for, for these guys because otherwise that would have been over and done with back in in March thanks to the parrots so there's at least 20 in here still uh, perfectly ripe there's also a couple of granny smiths in here not many maybe five they're pretty much done 
apple season is coming to an end at the end of June. Regular has still coming nicely. Not much to show from here except uh, an incredible bonanza or bounty of uh, avocados for for the end of the year. These will be spring, mainly spring and summer this year. Red mulberry almost done, dropping its leaves. This is the semi-dwarf red chatut or um, Pakistan red. The white chatut only just now starting to drop its leaves. Only a few. So I'm just showing you the progress of leaf drop from the mulberries here in Melbourne. These are pretty much still intact. So, yeah, these, these fall over July into August. So I don't get the chainsaw out on this guy until the beginning of August. The red Pakistan. Hicks Fancy, the black mulberry, all done with. Got the last ones a few weeks ago in May. Taking the net off now. So, a little maintenance over winter, every day a little bit. Speaking of maintenance, here's some more banana leaves I cut this morning from various bananas around the garden. The one I moved here last summer, the banana transplant video, had a transplant our pup. Most of the leaves came from these guys here. As you can see, see that? All around, all around. Getting those lower leaves off. And we've got a, a winter rack here coming, but not a good time to get a banana rack to come in winter. So that might turn out to be a, a bit of a dud. We'll see. Too cold to grow bananas in winter. These ones, however, came at the right time. They came last spring. And I'm gonna cut these down either today or in the next few days. They're ready, they're ready to come down. So, I got a lot of uh, leaves off of this one too. See that? See that, the lower leaves. Maintenance guys, maintenance. Little bit every day, 10, 15 minutes, or one hour a week. We've got the last uh, yellow cherry guava, lemon guava, uh, a couple of days ago. I don't know if these new ones are gonna ripen with uh, the cold temperatures ahead. July is the coldest month of the year. There's the uh, the yellow one, the last one. A bird, a bird got it, beat me to it um, two days ago. So season's over, unless these guys ripen up. We'll see. It's a first on the lemon guava. Hope you enjoyed this update guys from uh, um, the middle of June early uh, winter garden update thanks for watching and you can see here the the leaves are starting to turn yellow now that familiar winter look has come on the banana leaves we've got stacks of uh, tamarillos to go to we're going through these real fast every day Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you from the next video. Bye, guys.